guys, get ready for some adventure and wonderment. Oh wait, I already did that video. Eh, I'll think of something. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Let's see now, we already covered adventure games on the PlayStation Vita, eh, let's go with open world now. A lot of people have been suggesting that I cover this topic in the comment section as of late, so I guess I'll do that today. And speaking of the comment section, oh you know what's coming next, yep, I'd love to know what are some of your favorite open world games on the PS Vita, because yes, believe it or not, they do exist. A lot more than you'd think, and hey, maybe you'll see one of your picks in a future video. So here's the first one. First game I think of when I think of adventure and wonderment, but without it actually being an adventure game, quote unquote, because it actually is. But in this case, let's pretend it's not. I introduce to you Oceanhorn, Monster of Uncharted Seas, or if you're too lazy like me, just uh, Oceanhorn. It's a lot shorter to say. Combining captivating storytelling, breathtaking 3D visuals, and exciting gameplay into one epic action-packed adventure adventure experience. In this game, you explore the islands of uncharted seas, a world filled with many dangers, puzzles, and secrets. You wake up and find a letter from your father. He is gone. The only lead is his old notebook and a mysterious necklace. What happened? Not that I'm trying to exactly give the plot away here, but I'm sure it has something to do with conquering the world. In the game, you explore the islands of uncharted seas, a world filled with many dangers, puzzles, secrets. You must fight monsters, learn to use magic, and discover ancient treasures, which will help you on your quest. Use all your wits and skills to unravel the mystery of the ancient kingdom of Arcadia and the the sea monster ocean horn and no sadly they are not referring to that arcadia although it would be pretty awesome featuring 15 hours of storyline driven gameplay master magic and sword fighting find ancient items to help you on your quest all with an enchanting original soundtrack and i'm sure most of you guys have probably already picked up on this by this point but yeah this game is pretty much a wind waker tribute but if you think it's just a ripoff it's actually a lot more than that due to the fact that the things that it tries to rip off goes even deeper. Because not only does it have inspiration from the likes of Wind Waker, but old school top-down Zelda at the same time. And as I mentioned, this is a full 3D open world. You can go to any island that you wish, provided you have the necessary equipment to do so. And in all seriousness, I call it a ripoff, but it truly is a fantastic homage to the Zelda series. And I think deserves a lot more attention than it gets. So if you haven't had a chance to try this game out, what are you waiting for? Scratch that Zelda the itch with ocean horn monster of uncharted blah 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 seas i told you eh, the name is just too long that short-term memory loss is starting to pay off and no i don't exactly know what that means either so uh let's just move on next up is a game called akiba's trip or, if you really look closely at it, Akiba Strip. Ah, very nice play on word there, devs. Now that's a title I can get behind. No pun intended. And yes, indeed, this is in fact an open world game, and you'd never even expect to think of that when you first see it. But traveling around the city, making people lose their clothes much? Ah, it's a beautiful thing. In Tokyo's popular electric town district, Akihabara, vampires called Synthisters walk among us. You must identify and dispose of them the only way you know how by engaging them into hand-to-hand -hand combat in order to strip them of their clothes so their bodies melt away in the sunlight perfectly natural perfectly natural i'm sure there's no hidden agenda in any of this but there really is key features of this title include faithful recreation of japan's electronics mecha unique and customizable brawling style combat satirical story with diverse paths and multiple endings modern day setting enhances gameplay options and adds pop culture feel and might i add very open world. So if you've been looking for, well, actually come to think of it, I don't really know what kind of itch this would scratch for many people. Um, I guess if you're looking for a game like Senran Kagura and you've already played the heck out of it and want to find another game where people lose uh, the clothing, uh, then okay, yeah, this one does that. I apologize. I know that this is the open world video, but this is PS Vita at 2am. We have to have at least one loot title in every video, or at least I try to go by that policy. Very important. Now when you think of open world games on the PS Vita, you don't necessarily think of racing games right off the bat. At least not without doing drugs first. And with this video, drugs might just be what we are all on. I, um, um, 
I don't know where I was going with that, but that's what makes this handheld so awesome. It defies all expectations, because this is Need for Speed Most Wanted. Finally, a game that lets me drive the way I want without any fear of repercussions from the authorities. Oh wait a sec, they are in this. In fact, if I read the description, as I'm going to right now, the first phrase that it says in this description is, the open world action in Need for Speed Most Wanted gives you the freedom to drive your way, hit jumps and shortcuts, switch cars, lie low, or head for terrain that plays to your vehicle's unique strengths. Fight your way past cops and rivals using skill, high-end car tech, and tons of nitros. I mean, this is a racing game. You have to have the nitros. It's not a racing game if it doesn't have that. Experience non-stop action. No menus, no lobbies, and no restrictions. Just intense competition. Race, battle, crash, and explore at your own pace with a massive variety of things to do and rewards to collect throughout the open world. See? They said it again. Prove you're the best. Pick a car and jump into a non-stop play list of competitive action in online mode, which sadly at this point is pretty dead on the Vita, I'm sad to say. Beat your friends, or at least you could if you know the online was still pretty active. Test your urban handling skills. Need for Speed Most Wanted delivers a deep physical experience that showcases the personalities of awesome licensed cars, experience insane speeds, spectacular crashes, aggressive driving, and huge drifts. Again, much like with Nitros, you can't have a racing game without the drifts. 2012 Camaro? I love you. Ah, this game puts me in my happy place just thinking about it. And yes, that is just as creepy as it sounds. I forget I said anything. So everyone, what did you think of this list? What open world games do you play often on the PS Vita? Were you aware of any of these games before? Did you know they even had open world elements? Had you ever thought them in that perspective? I'd love to hear. And as always fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Dr. Super Artie, Rump King, Donut Valley, Jackie, Azumara, Cobble Trappa, Saqib Alam, Smug Wolf, Matt Hargett, Mazgus, Tasha Monti, Eric DeWitt, Juan M. Hermesio, Burz and Mystery, Kayonko, Jesus Hernandez, Jamie, Larry Anderson, H Hitter, Jelly, Lori Sweeney, Richard Cruz, PS Vita S, Adam Sondi, Hero Acer, Rodrigo Vera, Aaron Swanson, Heston Joseph, Kevin Enright, Jared Hado, Joshua Williams, Clayman Merlarkey, BMF, Skosher Tugel TCG, Adam Thury, Per Sterner, Erock, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, David Ray, Wendy K, Hemdal Imbert, Gutter Drums, Alan Iwazuk, Shin Snake, Joseph Raismick, Freighton, Zacredo, Robert Johnson, Bushin Ryu Cat, Milk Sama, Neo Rashi, Reiko Star, Matt Fox, B Mystery, Makis Bob, and Pablo Tonentino Mejia. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much. Oh, and I was just kidding about that whole card joke I made earlier. And I, I mean, it's not like I dream about them every night or anything. Is it hot in here or is it just me?